Good afternoon, students. How are you today? I hope you're doing fine amidst this pandemic. Although we are suffering from this pandemic, we still have to study. Because as they say, always seek knowledge. But before we proceed, let me first introduce myself. I am Mam Chin Puyod, and I'm going to be your teacher in Delhi. Since Delhi has a lot of specializations, I've decided to choose for this quarter. And for this quarter, we're going to learn bread and pastry production. Are you ready? Very good, you're ready. So kindly listen attentively to your teacher. For our first lesson, which is entitled Use Tools and Bakery Equipment. For this lesson, I'm expecting you students that you will be able to prepare tools and equipment for specific baking purposes. Now we have these baking tools and equipment and their uses. First of all, we have the baking wares. Are made of glass or metal containers for butter and dough with various sizes and shapes. So as you can see in the picture, that is called baking wares. Next, we have cake pans. Comes in different sizes and shapes and may be round, square, rectangle, or heart-shaped. We have the tube center pan. Deeper than a round pan and with a hollow center, it is removable which is used to bake chiffon type cakes. Number two, we have the muffin pan. Has 12 form cups for baking muffins and cupcake. We also have pop over pan. Is used for cooking pop over. Number four, we have the jelly roll pan. A shallow rectangular pan used for baking rolls. Number five, we have a bond pan. It's a round pan with scallop sides used for baking elegant and special cakes. We also have the custard cup. It's made of porcelain or glass used for baking individual custard. Number seven, we have the griddle pans, are used to bake griddles. We have the loaf pan, is used to bake loaf bread. Number two, we have biscuit and donut cutter, is used to cut and shape biscuit or donut. We also have cutting tools, include a knife and a chopping board that are used to cut glazed fruit, nuts, or other ingredients in baking. Next, we have an electric mixer. It's used for different baking procedure for beating, stirring, and blending. Now, we have a flour sifter. It's used for sifting flour. We also have a grater. It's used to grate cheese, chocolate, and other fresh fruits. We have kitchen shears. are used to slice rolls and delicate cakes. We also have measuring cups. Consists of two types, namely a graduated cup, with fractions 1, 3 fourth, 2 thirds, 1 third, 1 fourth, and 1 eight, mark on each side. We also have a measuring glass made of transparent glass or plastic is more accurate for measuring. We also have measuring spoons. Consists of a set of measuring spoons used to measure small quantities of ingredients. We also have mixing bowl. Comes in graduated sizes and has sloping sides used for mixing with Next, we have mortar and pestle. It's used to pound or ground ingredients, pandik dik. We also have a paring knife. It's used to pare or cut fruits and vegetables into different sizes. We have a pastry bag, a funnel-shaped container of icing or a whipped cream. Number 14, pastry blender. has a handle and with wire which you use to cut fat or shortening in the preparation of pies, biscuits, or donuts. We also have pastry brush. It's used in greasing pans or surface of pastry spreads. Pastry tip is a pointed metal or plastic tube connected to the opening of the pastry and is used to form desired designs. Ito yung nagde-design sa ating mga cake. Like for example, flour, um, may pa zigzag, may pa XX, yun yung nagde-design. Gamit yung IC. Next, we have the pastry wheel. has a blade knife used to cut dough when making pastries. Then we have the rotary egg beater. It's used in beating eggs or whipping cream. We also have the rolling pin. It's used to flatten or roll dough. 
We also have a rubber scraper. It's used to remove bits of food in inside of the bowl. Then we have the spatula. Comes in different sizes. Small spatula are used to remove muffins and molded cookies from pans, which is 5 to 6 inches. Large spatula for icing of, or frosted cakes. Flexible blade is used for various purposes. Then we also have the strainer. It's used to strain or sift dry ingredients. Or, tawag po sa atin ay salaan. Diba? Then we also have a timer. Is used in timing baked products, the rising of yeast, and to check the doneness of cakes. So, kailangan sa pagluluto, meron talagang timer para makuha yung exact taste, exact flavor, and exact um, physical content of the cake or kung ano man yung niluluto natin. Para sakto lang yung kapal, sakto lang yung tigas, yung sakto lang yung pagiging fluffy ng ating mini-baked cake or pastries. Next, we have the weighing scale. It's used to measure ingredients in large quantities. Next, we have the utility tray. It's used to hold ingredients together. Then, we have the wire whisk. It's used to beat or whip egg, whites, or cream. So, ano bang pinagkaiba nito sa rotary egg beater? Diba parelas na ng itsura? So, ang pinakaiba nito is, ito, mas, mas maliit siya kaysa rotary egg beater. Tsaka yung rotary egg beater, kung ipupush mo yun siya, mag-rotate yun na ngang mag-rotate. Pero ito, ikaw talaga ang mag, maghihirap na mag-rotate para mag-beat yung eggs. Next, we have the wooden spoon. It's also called mixing spoon, which comes in various sizes, suitable for different types of other baking tools, we have a cake decorator. It's used in decorating or designing cake in other pastry products. We also have a cookie press. It's used to mold and shape cookies. Then, we have the baking equipments. First in the list are ovens. Ovens are the workhorses of the bakery and pastry shop and are essential for producing the bakery products. Ovens are enclosed spaces in which food is heated, usually by hot air. Several kinds of ovens are used in baking. First type of oven is deck oven, are so called because the items to be baked, either in sheet pans or in the case of some bread, freestanding standing are placed directly on the bottom or deck of oven. This is also called stack oven because several may be stacked on top of one another. Breads are baked directly on the floor of the oven and not in pans. Deck oven for baking bread are equipped with steam ejector. Next, we have rock oven. It's a large oven into which entire rocks full of sheet pans can be wheeled for baking. So this is deck oven in the first picture. And the second picture is called rock oven. Deck oven, rock oven. Can you see now the difference? Of course, you can see the difference. Next, we have the mechanical oven. The food is in motion while it bakes in this type of oven. The most common types are a revolving oven in which his mechanism is like that of Ferris wheel. The mechanical action eliminates the problem of hot spots or uneven baking because the mechanism rotates throughout the oven. Because of its size, it is specially used in high volume operations. It can also be equipped with steam ejector. So, these ovens are called mechanical oven. Next, we have the convection oven. Contains fans that circulate the air and distribute the heat rapidly throughout the interior. Strong force air can distort the shape of the products made with butter and soft dough. So, this is a convection oven. Other baking equipment, we have the Dutch oven. It's a thick walled, usually cast iron, cooking pot with a tight fitting lid. So, ito yung takip niya, tight fitting talaga siya, di yan, di yan makakalabas yung singaw. Dutch ovens have been used as cooking vessels for hundreds of years. They are called casserole dishes. Why casserole dishes? Kay? Mukha silang casserola. Tingnan mo naman yung Dutch oven. Mukhang kasirola. May takip pa. In English, speaking countries other than USA, 
and Kokotes in French. They are similar to both the Japanese Tetsuna wave and the Seik, a traditional Balkan cast iron oven, and are related to the South African Putji and the Australian Bedouin oven. Classification of baking tools and equipment. For ovens, we have the convection ovens, rotary ovens, deck or cabinet ovens, and microwave oven. Other baking equipment, we have the bread toaster, the double broiler, and the Dutch oven. For mixing tools, we have mixing bowls, wooden spoon, rubber scraper, electric and handy mixer, rotary egg beater. And for the cutting tools, we have pastry blender, pastry wheel, biscuit and donut cutter, kitchen shears, chopping boards, and peri. For pre preparatory tools, we have the flour sifter the grater, the pastry brush, the spatula, bowling pin, pastry cloth, pastry tips, utility tray. And for the measuring tools, we have measuring cups, measuring spoons, weighing scale, measuring cups for liquid ingredients, and timer. And for the baking pans, we have tube center pan, muffin pan, cake pans, we have round, square, rectangle, or heart-shaped, we have jelly roll pan, Bond pan, custard cup, griddle pans, pop over pans, macaron molders, baking sheet. Now let's proceed to our second lesson, which is entitled Perform Mensuration and Calculation. So at the end of this lesson, I'm expecting you students that you will be able to first familiarize yourself with the table of weights and measures in baking. Second, apply basic mathematical operations in calculating weights and measures. And third, measure dry and liquid ingredients accurately. For standard table of weights and measures, for one tablespoon, you have the equivalent of 3 teaspoon. For two tablespoon, 1 eighth cup. For four tablespoon, 1 fourth cup. Five one third tablespoon, 1 third cup. Three fourth cup plus two tablespoons, 7 eighth cup. 16 tablespoon equivalent to 1 cup, 2 cups equivalent to 1 pint, 4 cups equivalent to 1 quart, 16 ounces equivalent to 1 pound. Common units of weight for 1 pound equivalent to 463.59 grams, for 1 ounce equals to 28.35 grams, for 1 kilogram equals to 2.21 pounds, for 1 gram equals to 0 0.035 ounces, for 1 medium orange equals to 1 fourth to 1 half cup per slice, 1 medium apple equals to 1 cup slice, 14 ounce can condensed milk equals, equals to 1 to 1 fourth cups, 14 ounce can evaporated milk equals to 1 2 third cups, 1 pound brown sugar is equivalent to 2 and 1 fourth cups per pack, 1 pound confectioner sugar equals to 3 and 1 half cups, 1 pound confectioner sugar is equals to 2 and 1 half cups, 1 pound nuts is equals to 4 and 1 half cups, 1 pound dried nuts is equals to 2 cups, 5 whole eggs is equals to 1 cup, 12 egg yolks is equals to 1 cup, and 8 egg whites is equals to 1 cup. So this, uh, these are the bases in baking. So kung di kompleto yung mga tools mo, so pwede mo silang equivalent para masakto pa rin yung mga measurements mo. Next, one bushel is equals to four pecks, one peck is equals to eight quarts, one gallon is equals to four quart, one quart is equals to two pins or nine hundred sixty four point four millimeters, one teaspoon is equals to four point nine millimeters, one tablespoon is equals to one half fluid ounce or fourteen point eight millimeters, fifteen ounces raisins is equals to three cups, one pound dates is equals to two and one half or three cups. 1 half pint whipping cream is equal to 2 cups whipped creams. Apply basic mathematical operations in calculating weights and measures. Conversion or substitution of weights and measures. So why do we have to learn this? Bakit ba natin kailangang pag-aralan ito? Bakit? Dahil kung hindi present yung bagay na makailangan natin, then we can think of a substitute or yung papalit para sa bagay na yon. So if we have the plan A, then we have a plan B. If we have a plan B, then we have a plan C. So, ganito yon. 
1 tablespoon all-purpose flour, 1 half tablespoon cornstarch, potato starch, rice starch, or arrowroot starch. For 1 tablespoon cornstarch, 2 tablespoon all-purpose flour, 1 cup sifted cake flour, 7 8 cup all-purpose flour sifted, 1 cup all-purpose flour minus 2 tablespoon, 1 cup sugar granulated, 1 and 1 third cup brown sugar, lightly packed, 1 and 1 half cup corn syrup minus 1 half cup liquid, 1 cup honey minus 1 half to 1 third cup liquid, 1 cup honey, 1 and 1 fourth cup sugar plus 1 half cup liquid, 1 ounce chocolate, 3 tablespoon cocoa plus 1 tablespoon fat, 1 tablespoon baking powder, 1 4 teaspoon baking soda, plus 1 half cup fully soured milk or lemon juice mixed with sweet milk to make 1 half cup. 1 4 teaspoon baking soda plus 1 4 to 1 cup molasses cream of tartar. 1 teaspoon active dry yeast. 1 package or 7 gram dry yeast compressed yeast cake. 1 whole egg, 2 egg yolks or 3 tablespoon thawed from frozen eggs. 2 and 1 half tablespoon sifted dry whole eggs powder plus 2 and 1 half tablespoon lukewarm water. 1 egg yolk, 1 1 third tablespoon frozen egg yolk, 1 egg white, 2 tablespoon frozen egg white, 2 teaspoon dry egg yolk powder plus 2 teaspoon water. 1 square unsweetened chocolate, 3 tablespoon cocoa plus 1 tablespoon fat. 1 cup butter, 1 cup margarine, 7 8 to 1 cup hydrogenated fat, plus 1 half teaspoon of fat, 7 8 cup of lard, plus 1 half teaspoon salt. 1 cup coffee cream, 20%, 3 tablespoons butter, plus about 7 8 cup milk. 1 cup heavy cream, 40%, 1 fourth cup butter, plus 3 fourth cup milk. 1 cup of whole milk, 1 cup reconstituted non fat dry milk, plus 2 1 half teaspoons of butter or margarine. 1 cup milk, 3 tablespoons of sifted non-fat dry milk plus 1 cup water, 6 tablespoons of sifted crystals plus 1 cup water. 1 cup buttermilk or sour milk, 1 tablespoon of vinegar or lemon juice plus enough sweet milk to make 1 cup. Let's stand for 5 minutes. 1 and 3 per teaspoon of cream or tartar plus 1 cup of sweet milk. So as you can see in your screen, this is what we call the oven temperatures. Temperature conversion table from centigrade to Fahrenheit. So in the left side, this this is the centigrade, and the right side is the Fahrenheit. So 50 to 122, 60 to 140, 70 to 158, 80 to 176, 90 to 194, 100 to 212, 110 to 230, 120 to 248, 130 to 266, 140 to 284, 150 to 302, 160 to 320, 170 to 238, 180 to 356, 190 to 274, 200 to 292, 210 to 410, 220 to 428, 230 to 446, 240 to 464, 250 to 482, 260 to 500, 270 to 518, 280 to 536. So remember, in the left side is the centigrade, and the right side is the Fahrenheit. Any questions? Clarifications? None? Okay, then let's proceed. Measure dry and liquid ingredients accurately. Measuring dry and liquid ingredients accurately, so these are the materials. Dry ingredients, flour, granulated sugar, brown sugar, baking powder, and soda. For the liquid ingredients, we have water and milk. For the measuring tools, we have the graduated measuring cup, measuring spoons, weighing scale, individual measuring cup, others, we have a spatula, tray, and sifter. For the flour, to measure them, first you have to sift the flour. Second, scoop to fill the measuring cup to overflow. Do not shake. And third, level off with spatula. So, do not push harder because my iba na yung measurements. So, just level off with spatula. Next, we have the sugar. For the white sugar, sifting is not necessary before measuring unless it is lumpy. What do you call lumpy? What do you mean by lumpy? Lumpy meaning yung mga matigas-tigas siya, yung tibugol-tibugol. So, ito up ang pinulungan class, it's tibugol. So, it is what we call in English term, lumpy. 
Fill the measuring cup until overflowing. Do not shake the cup. Level up with the spatula. So in measuring the white sugar, it's not necessary to sift them unless they are lumpy. For the brown sugar, check if the sugar is lumpy before measuring. Roll up the lumps, remove the dirt. So check mo muna kung lumpy ba yung brown sugar. O kung naaba siya yung mga tibugol-tibugol, ayahan nyo siya i-measure. Kung naitibugol, then atuan siyang i-bungkagon. Roll up na to ang mga lumps, kundi kwao na lang dyan siya. O kwaan ang hugaw. Next, scoop in the measuring cup and pack compactly until it follows the shape when inverted. Powdered food, like baking powder and baking soda, first remove the lumps in the powder by stirring. Again, the, remove the lumps or ang tibugol. Second, dip the measuring spoon into the powder. Third, Level with spatula or back edge of the knife of right in the, or right in the can opening. Next, we have the shortening. Solid fats fill the measuring cup or spoon without shortening while pressing until it's full. Level the fat with a straight of a knife or spatula. So, dito sa solid fats, kailangan natin siya i-push, i-press natin sila hanggang sa mapuno yung measuring cup or spoon. Then level the fat with a straight of a knife or spatula. For liquid fats, pour oil in the glass measuring cup. Check if it's filled up to measuring mark. Do not leave the cup when measuring. So check lang siya. Wag nating bubuhatin yung cup kapag nagbe-measure tayo kasi may iba yung measurement. So hayaan lang natin. Stay lang siya sa table kung saan mo siya nilagay. Lagay mo yung dapat mong ilagay ng liquid for measuring. Then tignan mo siya nang hindi binubuhat yung measuring Next, for the milk, pour milk in the glass, measuring cup of the measuring mark, do not leave the cup. So again, wag mong bubuhatin. Tapos lalagay lang yung milk. For the powdered milk, remove lumps in the milk by stirring. So, kung para maalis, so para matangtang ang matibugol, so dapat na to siya ukayon. Para mawala ang matibugol. Ito siya ukayon, ito, ito ang ipress para mawala ang bugol. Scoop lightly to fill the measuring cup or spoon without shaking until it overflows. So, di nato siya pwede i-shake. Then, use the spatula or the straight edge of the knife to level the measurement. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much and have a good day. For queries and clarifications and questions, feel free to contact me on my contact number, Sir 950-465-996. And for the link, you should visit GuideF, HTTPs, www.guidef.com slash e-learning for your activities and assignments. So, you should visit the link so that you'll be able to follow our lessons. Have a great day, grade 8.